Royal Navy today has unveiled a brand new state-of-the-art training facility. The Maritime Composite Training System provides shore-based training for warfare teams at HMS Collingwood in Fareham. From there, Tim Cooper reports. A fanfare from the Royal Marines welcomed the great and the good from the Royal Navy and local community to the unveiling of the Maritime Composite Training System. In a difficult year for the Royal Navy following SDSR, some positive news in the shape of a £108 million investment in what is a revolutionary training system. The facility was officially opened by Admiral Sir Jock Slater. It may look like a computer room, but the banks of flat panels faithfully replicate equipment and the setting they're in when used at sea. CO2, gun controller. CO2. Voice fire salvo. Here and at a fibre optically linked sister facility in Devonport, up to a thousand personnel will be trained or have their training refreshed each and every year. The beauty of this system is that it's completely modular. Each of these workstations can be moved around and configured in different ways to mirror any possible situation on board ship. That means the workstations can be grouped to mimic, say, an ops room or a smaller workspace. And the software is flexible as well. Screens can look like those on a Type 45 or an older Type 23 and going forward, a Queen Elizabeth class carrier. Well, it demonstrates that we have still found the means to invest in new technology to be able to deliver better training and for less cost. If I don't pass out to the fleet ratings and officers that are, ready to, that are trained and ready to fight and win, then the fleet will fail. So we've got a very, very important role to play. And now for warfare training, MCTS is at the very, very heart of that. The Royal Navy firmly believes ships like the Type 45 destroyer represent the future of the high-tech senior service. With MCTS, they've got the training facilities needed to match the ships. Tim Cooper, Forces News, HMS Collingwood in Fairham.